Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. So here we have a Ameritron AL1200. I'm going to go over everything it needs. I also have an AL1500 here that's all set. Might need a new tube. I have to check a couple of things on that. Then get back to the customer. So I'm going to go over everything. So it needs a new plate tune air variable cap. This one's damaged multiple spots. So if I couldn't get them new, I would rebuild it. But I'm not going to take the chance. I don't want to send it back to the customer and him have to bring it back. So uh, does not have the serious glitch resistor, does not have a spark gap, so I'll add the spark gap and I put a 50 ohm canthal resistor in with clips that have retaining clips. So has the old arrow caps. Uh, I said look, you know, have options. So you just wait till they fail, or I could change them. You know, if it had the newer style caps with the old resistors, I would just change the resistors. But, you know, it's, uh, I told him eventually they're going to fail. And he just said, change them out. So I'm going to put new caps in, new resistors. Resistor, like I said, spark gap. And um, new SO239s has the old phenolic type. So, everything else looks okay. Also the air variable, so. You know, he said it works, but just wants all the updates done. I'll check everything else over and uh, I'm gonna take the tube out. I told him, you know, I have the chimney here. So, yes, I have a chimney. He was using it with a chimney. But uh, he brought this to me and I said, you might as well just leave the tube in as long as you're careful with it because you take the tube out, you drop it, rolls off the counter, or whatever, just leave it in. He had this on his car seat and um, so. Okay, I'm going to get to work. It is uh, it's actually Sunday here, so. Uh, but I have so much to do, I have to get this done. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Stay tuned. So I'm back with the completed amplifier, and I'll do a test video after. So I retapped the blower for the highest speed. It's best to have it on the highest speed. You always want to make sure the filament, uh, filament transformers tap to the proper voltage also. So that was already set. So I changed all the capacitors. It had the older arrow type in here. Normally, if it has the old pink colored resistors, pink sand, whatever you want to call them, I'll check the tolerance of those. If they're good, then I'll just change the resistors. But since I had the old caps, I also changed the caps because it's only a matter of time before one of these fails. So that's all set. Nice, nice. Change the soft start resistor. Brand new one in there. Clean the relay contacts for the bias slash TR relay. Use deoxy gold. Change the SO239s to brand new silver plated Teflon dielectric ones from Max Gain Systems. I don't just tighten the screw with the Phillips head screwdriver. I actually go in there with a quarter inch wrench and I really snug them up. So, so that's all set. Change the air variable cap on the plate side. The other one was damaged. So this whole strap was bowed inwards because they only soldered the very end of it. On the newer ones, they the solder connection is longer to keep this strap straight and away from the air variable capacitor. So because it was right up against it, there was actually arc damage between the coil and the ground part of the air variable cap. The ones that rotate are at ground potential. So that issue is fixed. I put in a spark gap with the proper brass material. Got the brand new series glitch resistor. I use a 50 ohm canthal. I have a couple, only a couple left. But uh, these are not cheap. If you buy one from Omite, Omite bought canthal. So Put in standoffs and has the proper clearance from any point that's at ground potential. So disconnected the B positive where it connected to the base of the plate choke and connected it over here. I put a ring terminal on, a crimp solder, heat shrink, and actually the ring terminal soldered to the clip assembly and it has these retainer clip things to stop the resistor from popping out. Then I put a new wire between the other side and the plate choke and I 
used to that that uh, zip tie panel connection thing it has uh, sticky stuff on the other side for you know to hold the wire in place and also over here on the other side so that's all set so the stock one they use is I think like I think it's 21 or 22 ohms uh, this is better this is 50 ohms so it'll limit the fault current even more than the one they use the Numeratron's out of well, MFJ uh, Maritron, the Maritron building is empty and they have a few parts left so but they didn't have any of those resistors left so that's in and I also put the plastic piece between you know the plastic washer between the ceramic standoff uh, and the panel and also between the ceramic standoff and the clip clean the band switch with the oxygen gold and uh, touched up on other solder joints, tight, tightened hardware, and uh, that's about it. So I'm going to hook it up to my radio and try it and see if it works. So stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Cut a longer screw, the 632 screw that secures the plate blocker cap over here was just barely catching the thread. So I cut one a little bit longer, and it's tight, and made sure there isn't a ton of stress on the assembly when I slide this down and clamp it. You don't need to tighten this much, just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hook it up and test it. See you soon. Customer specified uh, 80 meters, so it'll be an 80 meter test, but I test them all on 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I've got the amplifier on. Set the 80 meters, here are the settings. I'm going into a dummy load. 2500 watt slug, bird 43, it's on PEP. Radio set to roughly 69 watts. Audio hello, audio hello, you see 1500 right there. Audio hello, it's at the very bottom of the band, about 3.5 or so, so real close to the bottom. Audio hello, hello, hello. There's the great current, nice and low. Uh, big current. Audio hello, 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 hello. And relative output seems to be off a bit. But audio, shh, audio, audio. Shh, 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 shh. Again, hello, 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 hello. And I will show you the frequency. Oops. There you go, 3.5. So I already tested it on 160. That was 80. I'll work my way up, and as long as all the other bands are okay, this thing is good to go. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Website's ampreparegot.com. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Other website is harbachelectronics.com. Here's the L1500 that I'm waiting on parts for, and I'll put another amp on the bench. A lot of amps to fix next week. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.